We're bending elements and rolling dice. That's right, it's Avatar The Last Airbender, Fire Nation Rising from the Op. In this co-op Clash of Kingdoms, one to five players lead their mighty teams of heroes, bending elements, restoring balance, and battling the corrupt Fire Nation, based on the hit Nickelodeon series Avatar The Last Airbender. Through a series of rounds, players will assemble pools of dice and roll those symbols to defeat villains and recruit additional heroes. If they can defeat three final battle cards before losing too many heroes, they'll thwart the Fire Nation and win the game. Setup begins with the map board placed center. It's divided into three locations, each of which has three slots for hero or villain cards. Set the Ozai figure in the center of the map board facing a random location. Nearby, set the Ruin track card and select a starting difficulty based on the symbol shown, either easy, medium, or hard. Select the Balance track card matching that chosen difficulty and place it to the left of the Ruin track card. Set both track markers to the lowest space of each track. Next, shuffle the Fire Nation cards and place them in a face down deck near the map board. Each player then selects a team card and the associated team token from the five available. Team cards have a hero type team leader, and team ally in a four or five player game, starting dice pool, and team hero abilities. Players collect their starting hero from the hero cards, and in that four or five player game, their ally hero as well. Take the remaining hero cards and separate them from the villain cards. Take those villain cards, give them a shuffle, and add 10 villains for a beginner game or 13 for an expert level difficulty, or anywhere in between according to your table's preference. Shuffle these villain cards into the remaining hero cards to create the character card deck. Then draw and place one card face up in each of the nine slots around the board, and place the deck nearby. Finally, create a supply of damage counters, dice, and shuffled face down pie show tokens. When creating their personal play area, Players set their team card for reference and then place their starting hero below it to start their hero row. If they have an ally already, they may place them either to the left or right of their hero. In the game, any newly acquired heroes will be added to the far left or far right of this row. This adjacency will be important later for hero attacks and bonuses, as well as villain abilities. Gameplay occurs in turns, beginning with the player who last watched Avatar The Last Airbender. Each turn is divided into five phases. First, the active player places their team token for the turn by choosing one of the three locations and placing it on that area of the map board. Their hero is now considered to be in that location. They reveal and resolve a Fire Nation card. Each card has a direction and a value, either zero, one, or two. Next, rotate the Ozai figure either clockwise, counterclockwise, or leave him in the same direction. That direction the figure is now facing is the location they attack this turn, targeting any hero cards of that location, including both those on the board and those of the teams with tokens present. Each affected hero takes one damage counter onto their card. Third, the active player rolls and assigns their hero dice by collecting the four dice shown on their team card, plus any dice from other hero abilities or other sources they may have. Dice are limited to the amount provided in the game. Any additional dice of a specific color is ignored. The active player then rolls their dice. After a roll, they must either assign one or more of their dice to a card or cards, or they must discard one die from their pool. The remaining dice are then rolled again. This process continues with the player either assigning dice or discarding one. When assigning, the symbol is the only requirement for placement, color is not important. Once dice are assigned, they cannot be moved. Dice can be assigned to hero cards to recruit them, villain cards to damage them, the balance track to advance it, or final battle cards to defeat them. Once the player has assigned or discarded their final die, resolve the hero dice by first recruiting any of those heroes who have all of their symbols matched on the assigned dice, 
they're then added to the player's team on either the left or right of the row, and all damage counters are removed from their card. Then add damage to any villains with dice assigned matching all of their symbols. Add one damage counter for each complete set of matching symbols on the villain card. The active player gains one Pi Show token for each damage counter added, moved, or reassigned. Advance the balance track up to one space if the assigned dice or action match the track's next space. Once either the balance or ruin marker reaches the top of its track, the day of the black sun will occur. More on what that means in just a sec. One other ability available to all players is Aid from the Spirits. If after all their dice are rolled, a player was not able to do any of the mentioned actions, they may draw one pie show token as a consolation prize. Made for the sockas of the table, if you know what I mean. Finally, the player concludes their turn by returning all dice to the communal pool, removing their team token from the map board, and resolving character cards. Any heroes, villains, or final battle cards have filled their damage capacity. They are discarded to separate piles. Refill empty spaces around the board with cards from the top of the character deck. Play then proceeds clockwise to the next player. Okay, let's check out some mechanics. Each hero card has abilities that either add dice to the player's pool or provide a special benefit, like re-rolling dice or free pie show tokens. Some of these abilities require the player to assign dice from their pool to the card in order to activate the benefit. Some also reference adjacent heroes. These are the heroes to the left or right of that hero on the player's hero row. Once placed, heroes cannot be rearranged. Villains have abilities listed on their cards which are generally activated when Ozai is facing that location as the Fire Nation card resolves. Some of these target heroes with the most or least damage. If multiple heroes are tied for this designation, all those heroes take a damage counter. Ouch. Pie Show Tokens may be used during the roll and assign hero dice phase of any player's turn, and they can be shared between players. Each one lists a benefit on the back that can provide bonus symbols, bonus dice, or even heal damage. Players can wait until after assigning dice to use these tokens. The tokens are discarded and only shuffled to refill the general supply once it's been depleted. The Day of the Black Sun occurs when either the balance or ruin marker reaches the top of its respective track. If the balance token reaches the top first, remove all villains with this Black Sun icon from play, and any further villains revealed with this icon are discarded. If the ruin token reaches the top first, remove all heroes with that icon and discard any further revealed heroes of that type. The balance and ruin tracks are now removed from the game, and one final battle card is placed in each of the three locations randomly. These cards can be damaged just like villains. Play continues with a few new rules. The ruin marker no longer advances on the track, because it's gone now. Ozai now activates the abilities of final battle cards he faces. Once a final battle takes two damage, it's completed and flipped over. The active player gains the benefit listed on the back before it's removed from play. The players continue their turns, fighting their way to overcome the final battle cards. The players can lose the game in two different ways. If 10 or more heroes are defeated, all players lose. If all the heroes on a single team are defeated, all players lose. But if the players can defeat the three final battle cards, they thwart the plans of the Fire Nation and win the game. And that's the basics of Avatar, The Last Airbender, Fire Nation Rising. I'm Becca Scott, this is Good Time Society, and you better come watch me and my friends play this game on Gameplay. There's a link in the description below, or you know, if the algorithm is doing its thing properly, it's probably on the sidebar too. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you back for the next one. Bye-bye.